says, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nephanims, and all they that separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the Torah of the Most High. You see? So that's what you were saying. You said that you was a, um, a handmaiden of the Most High. If you're a handmaiden of the Most High, then that means simply that you are separate from other people. You understand? Because everybody else in the world is not a handmaiden of the Most High. You see that? Mm -hmm. Everybody else, um, there are some, but it's, it's few in number. You understand? It's few in number. So it says, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nephilim, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the Torah of Ahia, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge. You see that? So that's the thing. Whenever you have knowledge of the Torah, you need to follow it. You see what I'm saying? If you have knowledge of the Torah, then you have to separate yourself. You see what I'm saying? If you have knowledge of the Torah, then you have to separate yourself. Because why? Why do you have to do that? If you love the Most High God. If you love the Most High God and you know the Torah, why do you have to separate yourself? Because the Most High says that um, um, a man that knows to do evil, I mean, a man that knows to do right and do it That's right. right. That's, that's proven. That's proven. You praise the high. Hold on. This is... um. James chapter 4, it says, um, in verse 17, it says, Therefore to him that knoweth, right? Therefore to him that da'at, that knoweth to do good and doeth it not, to him it is what? Sin. That time, it is sin. That's right. So it says this. Let's read it again. It says, And the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nephilim, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the Torah of Ahiah. So these people made a conscious decision to do what? Separate themselves. Purify themselves. They made a conscious decision, and that's right, to separate themselves, to purify themselves. You see that? Yeah. The scriptures say what? Touch no man suddenly. Keep thyself what? Pure. 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 Keep thyself pure. We don't touch what they do. You see what I'm saying? We keep ourselves pure. It says, it says, uh, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, everyone having knowledge and having understanding. You see that? Mm -hmm. Not just knowing the laws, but understanding why you have to keep them. You understand? Mm -hmm. The Most High God said he gave us these laws to see if we would keep them or not. To see if we would follow him or not. That's why he gave us these laws. You see that? It says, they clave to their brethren, meaning they clave to people that was like them, right? Because Christ said, who is my brother? Who is my sister? The one that hears uh, the uh, words of the Most High and keeps it. You see that? Mm -hmm. It says they cleave to their brethren, their nobles, right? It's like, you know how when you're dealing with um, romantic understanding or Grecian understanding, when people say noble men, you think about people riding on horses and looking funny, right? Mm -hmm. But they got that from us. They got that term from us, noble men, mm -hmm. kodash men, noble men, noble in everything that we do, right? Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. It says... Um, it says, they clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse and into an oath to walk in Ahia's law, which was given by Moshiach, Hasumashel Ahia, meaning by Moshiach, the servant of the Most High, and to observe and to do all the commandments of the Most High, our Adon, and his Shafat, meaning what? Judgments. And his Kuat, meaning statutes. So that's what you said. Mm -hmm. You said that you were a handmaiden of the Most High God. So now, that means if you are a handmaiden of the Most High, that means you have knowledge and understanding that you have to keep the laws, statutes, and the commandments of the Most High God.